What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Jordan A back in the building playing the uh, console release sequel to Marvel Spider Man release Spider Man Miles Morales. And here we go. This is your last chance to upgrade gear and abilities before the end of the story. So let's go ahead and get a quick little upgrade now. Very, very short title. Very, very short. Um, like I said, this was released the same day that the PS5 was released. And uh, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely glad because unbeknownst to a lot of gamers, this title was supposed to be DLC for Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man. And what they decided to do was upgrade it and use the uh i can't remember, never remember the name of the word for the fancy shadows and everything else the fancy lighting and they slapped the 69.99 price tag on it for seven hours of gameplay and they sold it with the release of the ps5 as a true next generation playstation 5 um title where you can literally see the difference between ps4 graphics and ps5 graphics now I did finish Marvel Spider-Man just a couple of weeks ago. A little more than a week ago, excuse me. And when I did, I immediately popped in Miles Morales. And I can see the difference. I can see it. Even though I played, finished up Marvel Spider-Man on my PS5 with a minor, because every PS4 game you play on the PS5, you already know there's a minor graphical upgrade. So I got that minor graphical upgrade. Marvel Spider-Man already looks fantastic, plays fantastic, looks even better playing on the PS5. Boom, popped in Miles Morales, see the difference, see the upgrade, see the, um, that word that I'm looking for, it'll come to me, but anyway, uh, you know, it, it's just, you know, it's, it's a PS5 title, it really is, I mean, you know, the gameplay, the swinging, the music, the audio, the story, the bustling city, and I love the weather effects, I love the weather effects, and we got one crime in progress here, which I don't, which, which way is the crime in progress? It seems like the city is just more alive. It, it, it seems more like a, a metropolis, more like a Manhattan than, uh, than what Spider-Man 4 on the PS4 was putting out. So. It's my biggest fans. Hey guys, let me give you a couple of love taps. little bit of combat to a little bit of combat take the rest off all right Beautiful. <laughs> Got caught him in the extra slow bow. Beautiful. All right. So, with that being said, um, and my son, he was, he was, he was busting my balls. I ain't gonna lie. He was, you know, pause. He, but he was like, Dad, you gotta get Miles Morales. When I bought the PS5, he was like, You gotta get Miles Morales. You gotta get Miles Morales. And I'm like, Son, I'm not finished. You know, I kept telling him, I'm not finished Marvel Three. So I'm not gonna go run out and buy Miles Morales. Like I never bothered to run right out and buy. Horizon Forbidden West because I'm not finished with Horizon Zero Dawn and now look Horizon Forbidden West 
is is free on the PlayStation Plus store. And I'll, you want to know something? Even though I'm probably not going to finish Horizon Zero Dawn because I'm probably just not. I'm past it now. I'm probably still going to buy Horizon Forbidden West and play it. Hopefully, uh, that one will grab me a little bit more than Zero Dawn did. So, we're ready to go. Let's get to the end of it. Ben's gotta be inside. What? There's a sniper. I definitely don't want to deal with him. One, two. Uh, it's like a whole island. Alright, there's one there. There's one there. Alright. Let's make our way here first. I like to deal I like to take these snipers out first and foremost. Especially the one standing over, you know. Oh, there he come. We can spread our focus a little. And a lot more people I hate than them. If she keeps making new guns, then she's not worth all this control. Of course she will. If not, the underground won't have much use for her. Take him out, too. Right, how many more snipers we got? Just two more. All right, we're gonna take both of them down. But it does. The weather affects the way Metropolis looks. Everything about it. Oh, it's two of them up there. All right, so we're just gonna be sneaky as a spider. Take them both out. For the longest time, I used to think that, um, well, you know, Batman, the Arkham series. Uh, well, there's the element of surprise, ladies and gentlemen. That did not go as planned. You know, I think lab will rock some stuff. So we can spread our focus a little. A lot more people like that. Perch him. If not, the underground won't have much use for her anymore. Perch him. So we got sniper one, sniper two. All right, so let's go the other way. All right, so we definitely not going to try to just take them all out. Could web strike him because ain't nobody looking. Strike around, swing around. Perch him or her, huh. easier than I thought. And then we'll just have to get up here with these two guys with these two because I just I just want to get the snipers taken care of snipers are definitely some of the most annoying and um well 
Once we get them out the way. They got a little, they got a little pop with them. So we got to, I mean, it was, it was, okay. Well, look at that. Nice checkpoint. Yeah, they wasn't, uh, well, we still got this one sniper here. Where is he at with this rifle? We still got him over here. And I can, if once I take him out, uh, we, we they, they, they peeked us over there. We still got both snipers to take out. All right, we can take out both snipers. That ain't no problem. On the perchy. Boop. All right. Look, these dudes, they got something else going on. Um, oh, he was looking at me. There's two of them there. Right, we ain't gonna worry about him just yet. We're gonna take him out first. First him. First him. So we purged both of them. Now right, what we got? We got three down there together. That ain't gonna work out. We got one, two, three, four over here, all pretty much with a nice distance in between them. We got him. We can take him. Another one bites the dust. Alright, so how many we got left? We got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. 
Oh. What we got left? Four. Any on the roof over there? That's all of them. Let's see what kind of security they've got. Same kind of barrier they had at Gym Theater. I need to drain the generators. Mm -hmm. And those shacks, which are locked and powered down. Need a new power source. Like that giant spinning mobile. Well, hold on, wait. Link power to the shutters to open them. All right, this is like one big freaking. Bet I could web the nodes to the mobile, conduct electricity. Just need the webs to reach. Webs won't reach. I messed something up by Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Yeah, this will work. So how come it's not connected?
Alright, let's try this. Alright, got one to connect. Got it. Sticky and conductive. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna keep this video running YouTube. It don't matter how long it is because I'm not getting a lot of views for this anyway. It's three years old and I'm a little bit late to the party, but I need to waste some time because I'm on my way to pick up my copy of Lords of the Fallen. Well, this is gonna work. Tether right, this. Uh, we'll do that. Let's open up. This is working. A couple more. All right. So, where's the others? All right. So, uh, let's. Be behind all that. I like the power to the shutters to open them, so hold on. There we go. Yes. Got, got this one open. Let's open it. I saw one more. I can't believe how well this is working. All right, where is the last one? So why is this last one not working? It was all so simple, wasn't it? Uh -oh. Connect that. Okay, had to connect that one first, and then this one, and then this one. Oh, this one is not connecting at all. Why? Why is this one not connected? Should Daisy chain a connection to this node? Okay, so all right, Daisy chain a connection to what node? That one's already connected. The last one should be this one, which I should be able to do that. And then that, it's not freaking doing it.
Well, uh, so what the hell? It's not freaking working. What the hell? Ah, there it is. Daisy chain. I got it. All right. We in there. Oh, sweet. Final battle coming up. Break down the ground's toys. Something I didn't use enough during this game. Finn, you here? Winning the science fair, getting to show off our converter here. We were so proud. <sighs> Hmm. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a cutscene. Just some it was down that hall. reminiscent for a little bit. Underground cash. See, I mean, I I probably could platinum this. I don't have any platinums, YouTube. As long as I've been, I've been playing PlayStation since 1995. Since before trophies was even counted or Finn? platinum in the game was a thing. Come on, we need to finish this. You and me. So if I'm going to do any of them, this will probably be the one that I end up going back and doing it with. Project. Down that, hall. that way I can say I did at least one. Mm, let's see here. museum map on my phone our projects in a special exhibit on the top floor can't wait to see our names on the little sign like real scientists today Oscorp Science Center tomorrow every major museum in the world hmm. it's kind of sad you know that they was really really good friends and it's, it's more than just real good friends like a brother sister right now they got a little something else going on between two of them I could tell so if I was miles I know I would <laughs> You and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Alright, so. So you can tell they just tacked this on. Living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Pass. What? You scared? Of sharks, the dark, tiny enclosed spaces, it's a no for me. Since the mid 20th century, scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out I'm naming window, that one Howard. You, you name one. Uh, Leviathan. Love it! Thanks for bringing me. The Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's 
weird to think how little we know about our own planet. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first think they'll let you try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Today's Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right. But see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break in. We have to. They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones would work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. We need something reflective. And something we can slide under the door, but still move around. Oh, hey, look. Soul mirrors. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light sensitive lock. Take one. Now we need something we could slide under the door. Something long and flat. Something that can be both? I saw an alloy display near where we came in. Maybe that has what we need. Did you call Dad back? He's gonna meet us at the restaurant. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum map. <laughs> This stuff is crazy. Think that's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Oh, oh man. Oh. Sorry. All good. I'll attach the sticker. Let's get that door open. This is either genius or really, really stupid. I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. We gotta try again. Mm, need something else. No, not quite. This is just a guessing game for me, YouTube. Worked. We did it. Come on. 
Our project awaits. That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. This engine, used in the Apollo space program, is one of the most powerful inventions that uses liquid fuel. Today, Oscorp is building a The most powerful single nozzle liquid fuel rocket engine ever made. I'd love to build something like that. Our project. Oh, ho, ho, wee! Would you look at that? Genuine award-winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, hold up. We need a picture. You gotta be in it, too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. <laughs> Say alleles. I am not saying that. All right, end of flashback. To you. There we go. I had to tell him what I have to the reactor. Get out of there. Yeah. 
underground just showed up. And I saw a Roxxon tank. The roads out of Harlem are blocked. Where are you? Near your apartment. Trying to find shelter. Get to Dale's bodega. I'll be there soon. We'll keep everyone safe as long as we can. Gotta take care of them before I head back to Harlem. Better be like that! I dare you! Come on. Finn destroys the reactor. Genki, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Back. Rocks on and underground are all over. It's like a war zone. Are you safe? My mom? We made it. It was about a dozen people. You're breaking up. Where are you? Genki! If you can hear me, I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please! I've never seen a storm this bad. Alright. That part was, uh, remotely challenging. I don't understand why they couldn't let that part just be a, you know, a chapter. Genki, can you hear me? Genki! Hang on, guys. I'm coming. I'm gonna destroy this park. Yeah. 
Ну, Bossa, né? Ah, 
Let's go. Let's go. Stop the war. Stop the war in Harlem. We're going to make...